What's going on, you guys? It's me, your girl, Maya J. Thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in. And today, y'all, she's back. She's back, okay? She got the two-strand twist back in. Very fresh and flowy. Ugh, I love it. Y'all know I was rocking with the bun for about two weeks. And I was like, I got to wash my hair and get my twists back. So I washed them and I did a trim. So my scalp, my hair is feeling so good. So we're back. We're feeling good on this good Saturday. And we have a little photo shoot going on today. So what I'm going to be doing is the Fashion Nova Fit, you know, with the green sweater and the jeans that I showed you guys maybe two vlogs ago. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and style that and make, we'll take some pictures. So that's what we're doing today. I have an idea of being in a parking garage. So what I did was last night I went to Wegmans and they have a parking garage and it's only two levels, but on the top level, I drove up there last night and as soon as you drive up there, it's like these big, tall buildings of our town center. So I want to use that in the backdrop. So last night they weren't too, well, the, that top level of the garage, it wasn't busy. Nobody was out there. There were a few cars, but nobody was out there. So I'm not sure what it's going to be like during the day. So I'm going to drive up there and see. And, you know, if it's not too busy, if not, you know, a lot is going on, we're just going to, you know, have our little photo shoot and take our pictures. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I decided to take pictures because I don't go nowhere, y'all. Like, I'll be trying to find places to go and I'm not really a club and lounge type of person. So I didn't know where to wear it at. So instead of the outfit sitting in my closet and I'm not wearing it. I was like, I'm gonna just take some pictures for Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, which you're probably not, go ahead and follow me on Instagram so you guys can see the pictures. Hopefully they come out right. If they do, then by the time this video is posted, the pictures will be posted as well. And go ahead and show me some love, some love on Instagram as well because I'm trying to get it popping over there too, okay? So that's what we're doing today, not too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. I'm just feeling good. Like yesterday we had a little setback, but today I was like, you know what, let me finish my hair because I had this little part to do back here. I was like, let me finish my hair and do my eyebrows. So those, my eyebrows that came out, they came out okay. Not really what I wanted them to come out as, but they came out pretty good. And I got, got little homie chilling right here as well, but we move nonetheless. And yeah, and I got my, my sideburns, took them off. So we got a fresh face. And so I'm about to do my makeup. And I'll come back. You guys know I don't really do too much with my makeup. I'm just going to do like a little natural beat. And so I'll come back and show you guys that and show you the details of my outfit. Um, I really just want to show you guys the purse that I got from Amazon to go with the whole outfit. Because y'all seen my outfit before. So I really just want to show y'all my purse. Or y'all can see it a little bit back there. Right there. I got it from Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will come back and show you guys all the details and yeah, give you guys a little behind the scenes of the shoot. Fingers crossed, hope and pray it goes well. I'm just excited, like I ain't got nothing else to do. So let's take some pictures. Um, but I hope you guys are doing well and on this good Saturday or whenever you're watching it. And I'll catch up with y'all later. Okay, you guys, so a little update. So 
we're done with our makeup and this is what it's looking like i didn't want to go well i didn't mean to go too gold you know around my eyes and stuff but that's just how it ended up being but and it looks way better in person but that's what it looks like i'm gonna try and take pictures um without my glasses we'll see how that turns out but yeah this is the beat the beat is beating for my lips all i used was a brown lip liner and my summer fridays vanilla beige lip balm so that's all that is and then for my foundation i used the fenty eavesdrop tint stick I love it. Like, if you guys haven't tried that, it's, I love it. It's lightweight, it's buildable, and it just blends out so well to a natural, it's like, even if it's off a little bit from your skin tone, it just blends in and melts very well. Um, but I think I got a perfect match with mine. But yeah, the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Tint Sticks, Love it. Love it. So that's what I'm using for my foundation. And what I'm going to do with my hair is, y'all know I don't really do much. I just do a little one-two on the side. So that's what I'm going to do with that. Just a little one-two. So I have to do that. Um, The jewelry that I'm wearing, the silver earrings from Fashion Nova as well. Um, And you guys know... I'm wearing this sweater here with the Fashion Nova jeans. So I'm gonna just show y'all. You can't really see it, but um, it's the Fashion Nova jeans. You guys will see them full size, you know, when I'm filming and stuff behind the scenes. So the purse that I wanted to show you was this little Amazon bag like you guys isn't this the cutest it's so cute like it's so cute when I got it in the mail I thought it was a little bit bigger but it's actually perfect because I'm not gonna put anything in it today anyway it's just gonna be a prop but oh uh, it's so cute and then it does have the strap to go with it, little chain. And so you just clamp it onto the side here. Um, so I'm gonna actually leave this here because I'm not gonna, you know, use it, so. But yeah, it's just so cute. It's just so cute. So we're going with silver accessories. You guys know I always go with gold. Gold is my color, but I love this silver bag. I will be wearing it with something else. Um, and then these are adjustable. Ooh. But that's the only thing I don't like about these little loops. They move too much, but they are adjustable. And so we're just going, we'll fix it a little bit later. Yeah, but they're adjustable, but it's so cute. I love it. I love it. It's just a cute, just enough bag. Like put your lip gloss, your phone in, your little wallet. It's so cute. But yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. So we got to get ahead start well we need to get out the house because it's a little late um it's a little after one and you guys know it gets dark early so hopefully the first location that you know we're thinking about we can just go ahead and take the pictures and get it done and over with and yes i will try and get some behind the scenes look look at me let's just bask in the moment for a second <laughs> Cause she thinks she a model for real, honey. I am. 
I am. I am. Okay. But yeah, like I just, this is, I'm just taking it serious. So I'm excited. I'm just in a good mood today anyway. But yeah, so I will, let me get out the house, see where we're going to be. And I'll pull out the camera. y'all just call me one shot shorty okay we got the shot that's it we've been out here with 10 minutes just call me one shot shorty that's it <laughs> but yeah you guys this is the outfit all put together so i got the white forces on But yeah, this is how it's styled with the bag. But yeah, just call me one shot shawty. That's it. <laughs> yeah, so this is the face. So pretty. But yeah, we got the shot, you guys. So remember to go on to Instagram and follow me so i can so you can see the post of these photos i think i got about three or four shots maybe five but yeah go ahead and head over to instagram and follow me and show your girl some love on these photos and i don't know what else we're about to do today but i'll get up with you guys later hey you guys so we're back home it's been a long day i think it's oh it's eight o'clock on the dot right now so we're back home from our photo shoots um you guys seen my outfit how i styled it from fashion nova and my makeup this is what we're looking like now so when we were taking pictures it was like around two well i got finished doing my makeup around two so it's eight o'clock and so this is what my makeup looks like so it still looks pretty good um, you guys were able to see it more in the sunlight earlier, but that's what it looks like. But I'm home now. Um, I went and did just a quick grocery run just to get a few things and came home and got comfortable. So I'm going to end the night with a movie. I don't even know what I'm going to watch yet. I kind of want to watch a Christmas movie, but I kind of want to watch something else. So... I don't know, like an action movie or something like that. So I'm not really sure what I want to watch yet, but it might end up being a Christmas movie. I kind of feel like it is. <laughs> like I'm in the Christmas mood, the spirit. So it might be a Christmas movie, but I'm making some hot chocolate or hot cocoa tonight because I've been in the mood for that as well. So I wanted to show you guys what I use because I went to Target last night and just so happened to pick up everything from Target. So what I got from there, they do have hot cocoa in their brand Good and & Gather. And funny thing about their brand name. So my brother, he always messes up the good and gather. He calls it good and plenty. I'm like, child, it is good and gather. Okay. <laughs> He's talking about some good and plenty. But it's their good and gather brand and their hot cocoa. I got this sea salt caramel flavor. They do have peppermint, which I had my hands on at first. They had pumpkin spice. And also, I think double chocolate. Yeah, so double chocolate, sea salt caramel, 
peppermint, and pumpkin spice. So we're going with the sea salt caramel tonight because I do like sea salt caramel. So I'm hoping this is really good or has a good flavor. And I wanted to top it with some whipped cream. So I got their gingerbread flavored whipped cream. And I don't know how this tastes either, y'all. So I hope it's good. We got a lot of flavors going on. Um, and I know I'm not crazy because I've seen where Target has non-dairy whipped cream. They didn't have it nowhere in stock last night. They didn't have no type of non-dairy whipped cream at all. So I was a little bummed about that. Um, but I just went ahead and got regular whipped cream. It's not like I'm going to be eating it every day. So we got the gingerbread whipped cream. And this is also, no, this is my favorite day. So also a Target brand. Um, and I'm going to make it with milk because I want it to be a little rich or whatever. So I got some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And this is by the Good and Gather brand as well. And I don't buy milk, y'all. I don't buy milk. So that's why I got this little carton because I didn't want to get like a whole gallon or just a lot of milk just for it to be sitting because I don't eat cereal and I don't use milk for anything else. So when I seen this, it was the perfect size, perfect amount. So we're doing the unsweetened vanilla almonds and I already um, heated that up in my tea kettle because it calls for one cup of hot milk. So you just mix one cup of hot milk with one packet of the hot cocoa. So you can use milk, but I'm pretty sure you can use water too if you want to. But I chose to use milk because I wanted, you know, that rich flavor. So I'm just going to show you guys what I'm using. Or I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm making for my hot cocoa to end this Saturday. I had a good day, y'all. So... I hope you did too. <laughs> I hope you guys did too. And I'm tired. So I'm going to drink this hot cocoa and take this makeup off. And I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. Possibly. So I hope you guys had a good night. Thursday, December 21st. The last time you see me, it was Saturday, I believe, and I was making hot chocolate. The hot chocolate that I showed you guys was um, the Good and Gather salted caramel hot chocolate that I had got from Target. And it was good. Like, I've been drinking it ever since. So, <laughs> so and I just came from Target a few minutes ago because, you know, just picking up Christmas stuff. Um, and I also picked up the peppermint hot chocolate as well by Good and Gather. So 
it was pretty good. So if you guys see it in Target, the sea salt caramel hot chocolate is pretty good. I Go check it out for yourself. It was pretty good. So um, what I'm about to get into now, like I said, I had went to Target just to pick up um, just a few stocking stuffers for my nephews. If you guys watched the last vlog, I was telling you about, you know, just making like a stocking for them and just you know just putting stocking stuffers in there so that's what i'm gonna get into tonight so i did go and pick up their stockings so i got these little stockings here from dollar tree and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna decorate them with their initial and you know just what i'm gonna use is the little glue glitter glue for their initial and I got some glitter stickers that I'm gonna use to stick up there. So just a Christmas tree, snowflakes, reindeer and stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna put on their stocking as well. I think I might put a uh, super glue on it first and then stick these up here because I want these stockings to be something that they can use. Uh, every year for Christmas and put up for decoration and stuff like that. So I want to put super glue where I think I'm going to put super glue first and then put the stickers. And I just got these little puff balls or pom poms as they call them. So cute little Christmas colors, green and red. And then I got some gold bells. So I'm going to just kind of play with it a little bit. You know, I don't really know the direction. Well, I have an idea, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So I already got them. I had got their, oh, that's upstairs. Their little basketball hoops or whatever with the, um, with the little rubber ball that you put on the back of the door. I got those to put in there and just some little stuff that they like so i picked this up little black panther book or whatever to go in there one of my nephews he's into cars now so i got these and i got him the lightning mcqueen is that what you call it yeah lightning mcqueen Um, and one of them, they're into Spider-Man. So I picked this up. It was like $5.99. So yeah, just a little bit, just a few stocking stuffers for them. And then my little precious baby niece. Y'all, so when she first arrived, I had bought some stuff. I was in Home Goods actually, and I had bought her a few outfits and if you haven't been at Home Goods and seen their baby stuff, especially baby girl stuff, like their clothes and everything, it is so precious. Like, I be having to control myself. <laughs> I be having to control myself because I just be wanting to pick up everything for her. And she don't, like, really need any clothes because every day she's wearing something new, like a cute little outfit. So... I really didn't know what to get her, and she's only two months. What do you get a two-month-old? So, I did get her some more clothes. Um, So, I did pick up. I didn't get a lot, but I think I got a bang for my buck. Like, this is a whole three outfits. You got three tops. Look at that. So, it's one two three tops that is so cute and then you got the matching pants to go with it and the other top is here it was so cute i had to get it and this was 16.99 so i went to tj maxx home goods in my area so I got this for her, 
just really cute. She can be comfy and cute in the house at the same time. And then I've seen this precious, you guys, look. <laughs> look at it. This is too cute. This is adorable. Just too cute. You got the little pink tights, the little white onesie, and some of this stuff you can mix match. Like, she doesn't have to wear this all together or just wear this one time. Like, she can wear the white onesie anytime, the tights, and then even with this outfit, you can mix and match. So, but I had to get this. Look at the little fur. And this was also $16.99 as well. And they have so many cute booties and socks and headbands. I was like, y'all, I gotta go. I have to go. I had to get out of there. And then I got just a little teething, a little teething ring here. Let's see. And it says female, or the feature is female. Ooh, let me find the light, y'all. Uh. <laughs> There it is. Okay, so it says the feature is female. So, you know, just her first little teething toy when she starts teething. But she's so cute, y'all. Like, all of this just makes me want to have a baby. But not right now. So, <laughs> not right now, honey. So, all of my money goes to my nephews and niece. So, but yeah, this stuff was so cute. So I got that for her for Christmas. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to just go ahead and put it in a gift bag. But I just wanted to share with you guys just a few things that I got. Some Christmas ideas. I know it's last minute. I'm last minute. Like, honestly, I thought I had all the time in the world to Christmas shop. Absolutely not. Like, Thanksgiving came. I was like, oh, I got time. And then all of a sudden I looked up and I didn't have time. So <laughs> I'm just so last minute and I'm usually not like this. I'm usually not last minute, you know, with Christmas shopping. I'll probably start start Christmas shopping usually in like October, but just a lot was going on. So I looked up, December was here. It's now the 21st. And I still got a few things that I still want to get for people for Christmas as far as gifts. So, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to, you know, share with you guys and show you how I decorate the stockings just for a little sec. And we're going to get into that. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Most likely, it might be... I don't know y'all, but I'll catch up with y'all later. <laughs>
Hey, you guys. So I'm just popping in just to talk to y'all for a little bit. Um, so I just came from Sephora, child. Listen, it's Saturday the 23rd. Like, I'm so glad the little bit of shopping that I did get done is already done and over with because, uh-uh, it was a madhouse in the mall. Like, whatever. So we got the goods. <laughs> we got the goods. I put in a, a pickup order for Sephora um, because I wanted to get another Christmas gift for my mom. And so I picked up the Gucci Flora perfume. And this is the 1.6 ounce. So this is what I picked up a few years back, maybe a year or two ago. I had um, picked up a sample size of the Gucci Flora um, for her for Christmas and she loved it. So I said, well, and the other day she was hinting, talking about some, is that perfume? Because I was putting another gift under the tree for her. She was like, is it perfume? I'm like, girl, <laughs> who said anything about some perfume? Who? So I was like, well, I guess that was my hint and her telling me that she wanted some perfume. So I went ahead and put in a pickup order for the Gucci Flora. And honestly, it does smell good. I do like it. But in my opinion, and for me, I feel like it's more of a, mature woman scent or fragrance so it's perfect for her but me personally i wouldn't this wouldn't be my first choice but for her it's perfect it smells really good and plus i'm not really a floral scent kind of person anyway but it does smell good so i picked this up for her and i'm gonna go ahead and go home and wrap it and the packaging is really pretty look at the flowers that's pretty but yeah, so it smells really good. I picked this up for us. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap that. But I'm not really doing anything much today. I have an Amazon Fresh order that I'm going to pick up later. Um, because we're having Christmas dinner and stuff like that. But that's it. And I had put on a little bit of makeup today. But honestly, I'm about to go home and take it off. Because being in that mall made me hot. I got a sweater on. If y'all out there in that madhouse, ooh, good luck to you. <laughs> good luck to you, okay? Because I just can't, I just can't do it. But sometimes I like being in the madhouse around the holidays, even though I don't have to get anything, but I've had my taste of it and I'm done. So, but yeah, I just wanted to pop in and chat with you guys for a little bit and show you what I had to pick up. But I'm going to head home because it's traffic out here and everything and I'm hungry. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hey, you guys just popping in. It's the day after Christmas. So I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas, a blessed one, whether you spent time with family or spent time with yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas. I wanted to pop in yesterday on Christmas just to, you know, say hello, touch base, but I just didn't get around to it. So my apologies. I kind of feel like the days, like the two, three days before Christmas leading up to Christmas is so hectic. Like you're trying to get last minute gifts. You're trying to, like if you have Christmas dinner, you're trying to get groceries and prep everything. So that's how it was for me. I still had to get, you know, just a few last minute gifts and um, to get groceries and everything because we did have Christmas dinner here um, with my family. So that was fun. But it's just, it was a constant roller coaster. <laughs> so, so I wanted to get, well, had to get ready for that and everything. Um, so that's why I couldn't, I really wanted to pop in and plus I just wasn't, honestly, I wasn't looking my best yesterday. <laughs> I was not looking my best yesterday. So I was like, I ain't even going to do them like that. So today I put on a little bit of makeup and, you know, just came here just to end the vlog as well, because 
I didn't end the vlog. I believe the last thing you guys seen was me making the stockings for my nephews. So just wanted to say Merry Christmas. Honestly, I wasn't in the Christmas spirit this year. Like I tried my best. Like I wanted to be in the Christmas spirit, but it just was not happening. Like I enjoyed, you know, making the Christmas stockings for my nephews. I enjoy, you know, Christmas shopping. Well, the little Christmas shopping that I did do because honestly, I didn't even do much Christmas shopping. And, you know, the Christmas decorating and making cookies and hot chocolate. I enjoyed those things, but the spirit just was not within me this year. <laughs> it was not within me this year. And I'm kind of bummed out about that, but hopefully next year, or we're going to claim it next year, we're going to be in the Christmas spirit. We're going to have Christmas pajamas. I might even do Vlogmas. We'll see. So um, I might even do Vlogmas. So I don't know, but next year we're claiming it. We're going to be in the Christmas spirit. It's going to be a good Christmas, but this year it just wasn't, it wasn't within me this year. So but that's okay, and we're just gonna keep it rolling. I am working today, so I'm on the clock. But yeah, y'all, honestly, I'm kinda glad, you know, we're getting through these holidays, honestly. So, you know, Christmas is over, but you know, we're still in that, that season and all of that stuff. So I hope you guys are enjoying the Christmas season, the holiday season. And I hope you're enjoying the rest of your day as well. So I will get with you in the next vlog. If you enjoyed this vlog, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, go ahead and like, leave a comment and go ahead and subscribe as well. Enjoy the community and I'll get with you guys in the next video. Bye.